unfortunate, albeit die-hard bunch of us, the colder weather doesn't always slow us down. Strictly from no other options in our areas, we try to ride year-round and that means cold weather riding. <laughs> One of the issues I've always had is how to keep my hands warm. And the result of that, it's always trying to be on the lookout for better ways to keep warm. If you try to wear thicker gloves, you often can't feel the clutch or the brake properly, which isn't great. Which is why I picked up a set of these, the Tusk Racing Cold Weather Mitts. I think that's what they're called. What's up everyone, I'm Mitch. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Fit for Moto, and thanks for checking out another video. In today's video, you guessed it, we're talking about these mitts that go over your handlebars to keep your hands a little bit warmer. I'm gonna try them out. I'll let you know what I think. Are they worth the money? Do they hold up? How easy are they to take on and off? All that kind of good stuff. So if you ride in colder weather like I do, these are gonna give you a pretty good idea on if they're worth you spending your hard-earned cash on. With all that said, grab a warm drink, roll the intro, and let's get to it. There are a couple options out there, however, not all seem to be applicable to a bike. Some of them look way too big and cumbersome to even bother trying. But I did stumble across these. From RockyMountainATVMC.com, Tusk makes a pretty good set that look like they'd be a good option, and they're priced right too. Coming in at only $15 US, figured that even if they were a bust, it was cheap enough that they were worth a try. Now, out of the package, they're exactly what you would expect. Nothing more, nothing less. But you really don't need much more. I'm just looking for something to block the wind mostly, and these look like they'll do that and more. They do have a small amount of insulation on the inside, which help keep some of that extra heat in, along with a thick external layer to help keep the water and the mud out, thus keeping your hands drier. They're pretty straightforward to mount and use. All you do is slide them on and tighten them down around your handlebars. It literally takes seconds and you can adjust the opening for your arm and your hand. And that's it. Those babies are on the bike. All that's left to do is to throw on some long underwear because it's gonna be chilly. Get out to the track and try these things out. As always, that's my favorite part. Let's go, I'll see you there. Now, before you get out there and start spinning some laps, it is worth noting one concern. Because of the fact that your hand slides into them, that also means that it might be more difficult to get your hand out should you need to hit the eject button. So my suggestion would be to keep the openings really quite loose, which may not hold as much heat in, but at least you can get your hand out in a hurry if you have to. Other than that, they work exactly as I intended them to. I can keep a thinner glove on my hand, which allows me to get that feeling I like, while still keeping my hands plenty warm to do a full motor. don't think about them while you ride. That was a surprise to me. I thought I'd be bothered by them, but that wasn't the case. And for 15 bucks, totally worth the money. And what's more, if the weather dictates it, they're so easy to take on and off. It's a win-win. So if you live in a northern part of the world like myself where things get really cold, I actually think these are a pretty good option. They help block the wind. They're really easy to take on and off. All in all, a really good choice. However, that being said, like I mentioned, be careful on how well you snug up this cuff because you do want to be able to get your hand in and out of these things in a hurry in the event of emergency or something like that and you got to hit that eject button. Just a word of caution. Other than that, I think they're a great addition to my cold weather riding gear. I'm looking forward to using them more. It's going to help me ride a little more year round, even in some maybe even colder weather than I'm used to. I think that's a great thing. If it seems like something you want to get, I'll put a link below on where you can get yourself some of these. Again, they're cheap. I think they're worth it. I hope you liked the video. Hope it helped you in some way. If so, smash that subscribe button for me below. You know I appreciate it. And if you are riding in the colder weather, try and stay warm, ride safe, and we'll see you in the next video.